let's take a look at these points on the XY plane. What sort of figure do you think we can form from these points? Let's try to connect these points to form a letter. Clearly, it's Y. What we did just now was form a pattern recognition. Pattern recognition is used extensively to observe the trends and to make successful future predictions. In this video presentation, we are going to observe how a computer can be used to recognize a two-dimensional pattern. There are programming codes which can help a computer to recognize patterns. Here we are going to demonstrate a MATLAB code that performs the mentioned purpose. <coughs> Here is our code. As input, this code takes some coordinates in XY plane and gives an output from a finite set of 11 characters. The characters are Z, 7, equal to O, B, D, Q, E, Y, T, and Tau. When we run the program, we get Y as output, like the beginning. Similarly, we will get all the 11 characters as output for different points of input. We will have equal to 7 D B E O Q T Tau Y and Z. So, how does the program works? Let us notice the similarity between characters 7 Z and equal to. They can be called character set A. Now let us also observe that characters E, O, B, D and Q are also similar. So they can form character set B. And the rest of the characters T, Y and Tau are also similar. So they can be part of character set C. Well, first of all, the program plots the given points on the XY plane. Then a regression line is drawn. Distances of the points from the regression line were measured. If the points from both sides of the regression line maintain almost equal distances, then the character is equal to. If most of the points are of almost equal distance, but there are some points which appear to be near the regression line, then it's dead. If both this condition fails and still the angle between both these lines is 50 to 70 degree, then it is 7. If none of these conditions are satisfied, then the character is not from set A. Next, we check for set B. In this case, first the point of gravity of these points is taken. Then the distances of the points from the gravity point are measured. If they are almost equal, then the character is O. If it is not so, then a circle was made taking only the points which satisfy the previous condition. Then the position of the rest of the points determine the other characters of set B. If points are present on the left side of the circle, it is B. If points are present on the right side of the circle, then it is D. If points are near to the bottom of the circle, it is Q. Otherwise, if there is a combination of some points below the circle, it is C. Failure of all the above cases leads to character set C, where the concept of center of gravity was used. From the gravity point, the points at the maximum distance in three different directions was searched. Then, depending on the top line, determination of the final character was done. If it is a straight line, then the character is T. If zigzag, then the character is Tau. If v shape, then the character is Y. We have added confidence level, which determines how much the output shape matches with the original shape of that particular character. There are certain values which can be varied to allow a character to pop out with a higher degree of deviation. In row 268, the maximum allowed difference of distance is 0 0.09. It may be changed to get equal to more frequently or less frequently. In row 405, CDB can be made larger to get O with more inaccuracy. In row 1407, the value 0 0.15 is related to the slope of the top line of T. This value can be increased to allow T have a higher slope. So, this code is a user-friendly code. By further development, execution time can be minimized, problem solving can be improved, and thus, it can perform higher levels of pattern recognition.